What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray and SketchUp tutorial for you. In this video I wanted to talk about how to save your materials and your maps and then to import them. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So to start off we're in V-Ray for SketchUp and I will note I'm in V-Ray 3.6 so some of this may look a little bit different if you have a different version. But in this case what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to save the tile material that we created in our uh, smudge blend tutorial tutorial over on my other channel. So this is basically a material that I created and uh, it's uh, basically a mirror tile. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to label this. And I labeled it Polygon Mirror Tile because I downloaded it from Polygon.com and I'm trying to keep track of where I got different things because I know that those things are all going to have a little bit different functions. But basically this is a mirror tile material that uh, if I wanted to I could go ahead and apply to this selection just so you can see it. I'll do a quick interactive render. So it's basically a tile material that I've created that's very glossy. And uh, it has all the displacement maps and everything linked up so I wanna save all of that. Well the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna click in, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna click the button for save material to file. So when you save that material to file, it's gonna pop up a window that allows you to basically dictate where that's going to go. And so in this case, I'm gonna save that right now to uh, my hard drive in a location where I'm storing materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna name this and I'm gonna click save. And so now if I was to navigate into that folder, let's take a look at what it did. So basically what it did is it saved a copy of a VR mat file, that's the V-Ray material file, but you're gonna notice that it also created a maps folder. That maps folder is gonna contain all of those maps that we have associated with this file. Those are gonna be very important. So now I have this saved to a folder along with the associated maps. So now if I was to come in here and I was to create a new SketchUp file, so let's say I just wanted to apply that material to this face. So I was to reverse the faces and then we were to go into our V-Ray asset editor. Well, the way that you could start off bringing that in is you could come over here and you could click the button for import VR map file. What that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a window where you can select that file and you'll notice this is that file that we created. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this and it's gonna come into my model. And so I can come in here and I can apply this to my selection. And in this case, the only thing that didn't really get saved was the UV mapping. So I'm gonna have to come in and resize this tile. So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna resize that in my materials section. Other than that, everything seems to be working properly. And so now if we were to do an interactive render, you can see how this is gonna give you maybe not the same result because our lighting's gonna be a little bit different but everything's gonna be in there. You can see how everything's reflecting off of the tile. The displacement map is doing what it's supposed to do. You can see how my uh, default model reflects off of this tile. So everything's getting brought in properly. And one thing I wanna point out when we do this is it's very important when you do this that when you import this, the maps are contained in that folder. Like let's say for example that I was to cut those out of this folder just for the sake of this example. So we'll cut this out and we'll just put this in like a placeholder folder. So I'll just create a folder for temp and I'll drop those maps in there. So now those maps are no longer contained with my V-Ray material file. So if I was to come in here now and rerun this interactive render again, you can see how none of those maps are contained in here anymore. So you can see how I'm not getting the same gloss, I'm not getting the same effect, it doesn't look very realistic at all. Well the reason for that is when you bring this material in, it's going to look for those maps. So let's say for example that I was to come in here and I was to look under my displacement map and I was to click on this file. You can see how this is giving me an error message because that that maps folder got moved out of here. So now it can't find the maps that it needs to make this really realistic. So basically the way that you get around this is you just have to make sure that wherever you place this material file, this maps folder gets placed in the same location. So you can see how now if I was to do this, I was to bring the maps back 
and I was to rerun my interactive render, it's all it's going to find all of that stuff and it's going to look a lot more realistic. So when you save materials, you need to make sure that you save the maps in the same place. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you do custom material libraries in V-Ray? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new content every week. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.